just share with you my journal that I'm keeping during my <clears throat> cancer and chemotherapy sort of journey. Um, I'm using journaling really for a few reasons and for several purposes. One is just as a basic recording and tracking tool to track my treatments and my appointments and my meds and side effects and all that sort of thing. So more kind of a practical thing. But then I also use my journal to um, express my feelings, um, really just, it's a bit like a self self psychotherapy <laughs> session. Um, they do call it journal therapy. Um, and really just to get my thoughts down onto paper. Um, and it's actually quite useful to kind of look back as well, um, to reflect back um, now and again. <clears throat> so I'll just take you through, just to point out as well, I've, I've been doing journaling like this for, for about six years now. Um, I also use it as an art and creative outlet. I, I do art journaling and mixed media, stuff like that as well. So you'll see my pages are fairly highly decorated using um, bits and pieces and uh, vintage stuff. I quite like the vintage look. Um, so you will see that my journal is decorated as well, but it's just part of my creative. It's, it's part of the process for me. It's, it's almost a meditation. Um, the, the time that I take to decorate the, the journal. Decorating the journal also, I think, really encourages you to use it more. It's not you just writing on a completely blank piece of paper. There's already something of interest on there. So I think it really does encourage me to journal more when my, my journal is decorated. And then of course, it's, it's, it's a great record of, of this difficult time um, in our lives that, that, you know, sometimes it's good to document and in years to come when we're fully recovered and we're clear of this horrible disease, we can look back and just reflect on, on what we had to go through. So I use, as I said, kind of part planner, tracker and um, written journaling. So I start my month by sort of putting, plotting out the month as a calendar um, and here I can obviously put my appointments in, my treatments, whatever thing. So July, you can see that I had my first biopsy. I recorded my first discussion with um, the doctor Shetty about my results, which is basically when I found out that I had cancer, which was which was the twelfth of July. And then following the MRIs, the CT scans, the, the results, further biopsies that I had, um, or, and all the things up to when I had my, my first chemo session, which was sort of towards the end of July. So then, um, because this was just the beginning, I hadn't started any of my treatments, um, I just used the journal to do some reflective writing. Um, you know, I captured how I was feeling through this time. Um, you know, a little bit about the, the, the uh, tests and everything else that I had. Um, and then, of course, uh, when I had my port put in, um, I took a couple of pictures, knowing that I was keeping a journal, obviously. That's the <laughs> reason I took them. Plus, I'm kind of putting together a photo record for my mum. She's miles away, so she likes to see what's going on. Um, and then, um, as I start my treatments then um, I had my first day of chemo uh, this is my first day of chemo again took some photos and I'm starting to use um, I'm tracking my weight um, I believe that the, the 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 treatment plan I'm on I'm likely possibly to gain weight so I really don't want that to happen so this isn't really about losing weight as such I really don't want to gain weight so I am trying to eat super healthy I'm exercising um, you know I'm really trying to avoid that weight gain so I am keeping a track um, just weekly of my of my weight um, I am a little overweight I do need to lose weight so if I can lose some that would be that would be good um, so in terms of um, recording, I thought I'd use my journal to record the side effects that I felt during the week. 
Um, also the meds that I was taking either to combat the side effects or vitamin B supplements, etc. Um, and also my food. So that's part of my weight and management um, and eating healthy. I want if apparently research says that if you log your food and you write everything down, you're more likely to stick to a healthy regime if you write everything down. So that's the reason I'm doing that. So then I literally every day I'm recording my effects, um, side effects, the meds I'm taking. So I'm f just following a, a similar pattern every day. I'm also now recording my exercise. So it's also good to, to do that just to, again, it's, it's, a, it's a motivational thing as well. I think if you, and, and re kind of reward motivation type thing, when you write things down, it's kind of like you've logged it and you've congratulated yourself for doing that exercise. So there's, there's various reasons for, for doing that. So really, I'm not going to go through every day, but basically the same thing every day. I'm recording my food, my exercise, the side effects, my meds, and then I'm doing a little bit of reflective journaling for each day. Um, this is my August planner. So now I've got all my chemo treatments plotted. I'm numbering them, um, but reminding myself I have to go for blood tests the day before and any other appointments um, in here. I'm kind of just keeping this as my personal appointment calendar I do have a work um, planner uh, journal as well so that's that's all my work stuff in there so this is just personal stuff so every day as I said I'm I'm recording I'm trying to do a little bit of meditation as well so I'm recording that I love some of the I use calm the calm app and I some, love some of the quotes that they give you at the end of your meditation so I'm kind of any that I really like I'm kind of just jotting those down and I'll do that as well throughout the journal. If there's some, I know in the WhatsApp group, um, people have been posting really good um, motivational quotes. Um, so I'll probably include some of those in here as well. So this page is, I found some smoothie recipes that they recommend for maybe the days you're not feeling very hungry or your appetite's a bit low. At least I know that by having one of these smoothies, I'm getting the the good goodness and nutrients I need. Um, there's even an anti-cancer green smoothie in here. So um, as far as I know, having checked um, the what you're supposed to avoid food list for my treatment, um, this is all fine. There's nothing on here that I can't eat um, in terms of my uh, treatment plan. So yeah, so that that's that's I like recording in fairly big letters, what chemo day I'm on. Um, and I've also got a, a spread here for chemo meds, the treat, my treatment plan and expected side effects. Um, so uh, I'm keeping a tracker so I can literally cross off the days. That's quite a, again, a bit of a, you know, a recording of the journey and thank God I've just, you know, can cross off another, another treatment. Um, I said I've, I've put a little bit of interesting facts about the meds that I'm on as well because that's also good you know nice to look back and, and know what kind of uh, medications you are on um, plus I've put the the list of um, possible side effects I'm hoping I, I they remain minimal I'm doing everything to avoid um, them all as much as I can obviously and then my targeted therapy meds which I have every three weeks um, these two are every week on a Friday and then every three weeks I have the additional two uh, targeted therapy meds. And then um, every day is just recording recording the day. And um, so yesterday, today Saturday, so yesterday was my chemo day. I've got to add my little bit of reflective journaling in here and then I'll just um, continue. And what I tend to do is at the beginning of the week... I'll sit down with, with some of my papers and my washi tapes, of um, the decorative washi tapes that I have quite a lot of. And I sit down and I just decorate the pages and I just put a little, a little decorative element in the corner, opposite corners um, of the pages. Um, and I do that enough for the week so I'm not having to do that sort of every day. I can focus on just journaling every day. So I kind of set up my journal for the week in advance um, at the weekend and then I can just concentrate on on journaling every day. OK, 
Okay, well, that's, that is a little sort of flip through of my journal. And my intention is to write a couple of blogs, which I'll put on my uh, blog uh, website. And I can share that in the WhatsApp group with you. Thanks very much. Hope that was helpful.